Hello and welcome to day 15 of 30 Days of Doodles. Today we are almost officially halfway through this fun series. So today we're doing some vegetable doodles. I love drawing food, so I'm super looking forward to this. So we're gonna start with a bell pepper. And the first thing I want you to draw, although it may seem kind of weird, but by now you're probably used to it, is a square. So our bell pepper, aside from the stem at the top, is gonna fit inside of this. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm dividing it into thirds the best that I can. They don't have to be perfect, but try to make them as close as possible. And then I'm making this kind of bulbous shape where the top is a little bit bigger than the bottom, but they're ovals with some bumps in them. So the tops are wider than the bottom and then it comes together pretty narrow at the bottom. But you'll see how this square works to kind of make everything more uniform and make everything fit together better and you can just kind of get the bigger picture when you have that box there so i'm just going to go over these shapes with my black pen before going in and adding the stem and the fine details So here I'm just picking up my pen to do the stem. You're more than welcome to use your pencil if that makes you feel more comfortable, but the stem of a bell pepper can be shaped however you want it to be shaped. I always shape mine like this little hook that's coming out of the top and the bottom piece is a little bit wider where it connects and then it gets thinner as it goes around. And then I'm picking up my very small pen and I'm adding some lines inside of that and then some lines around some of the shapes inside the bell peppers. They're just little fine details that just give it a little bit more aesthetic and a little bit more character. Okay, moving on to the broccoli, we are going to start at the base and we're going to draw the stem first. So to draw the stem, we want to create this slightly vertical rectangle. It's not like obscenely long, but it's a little bit. And then we're gonna taper it from the top of that rectangle in to give it that tapered shape and then the next thing I'm doing is I'm just going to draw these little branches that are coming out. So I started with the center one and then I made two coming out each side kind of at an angle. They don't have to be perfect, they don't need to be uniform. This is organic food that you don't have to worry too much about making it look super perfect. So then the next step is to draw some imperfect circles atop all of those little branches and then make one bigger half circle at the top. Now, as I go in and use my pen, instead of just tracing around those circles and leaving them as circles, I'm just creating these little tiny ridges all the way around. So it's just a little half of a circle shape connected to another half of a little circle shape over and over and over. And then we'll go back and trace over our stems. I definitely recommend doing the top first because you want to know where all those little top pieces of broccoli are going to be before you add in your stem. And then the last step is gonna to be to pick up your super fine tip pen and add a couple more of those little ridges inside to just give it a little bit of added texture because broccoli has a lot of texture. Moving on to our final doodle, we'll be drawing a carrot. So we're gonna start with a vertical oval shape. You could also draw out a rectangle for this, a long rectangle, and then taper it off towards the bottom. So I just started with a long oval that's a little bit more narrow at the bottom than it is at the top. And then I'm just tapering that in more and more until I get that finer tip at the bottom of my carrot shape. Next, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna use my pencil again and I'm just creating these little dips along the side of the carrot just to give it that more organic shape because it's not just this perfectly smooth vegetable. And then we're gonna go in with our pen and we're going to trace over that. If you're having a hard time seeing your pencil lines, I suggest that when you go back to refine, you use a little bit more pressure, not so much that it's gonna dig into your paper, but enough that you can see it stand out more than your original shape. So start with a very light hand and then increase a little bit as you go. So now I'm gonna go back and erase those lines of pencil because there were a lot of them from the oval and then the finer tip and then the little ridge marks along the side. 
So next we're gonna go back in with our pencil and we are going to draw the leafy portion of our carrot. If you want to make this longer, you're more than welcome to. Mine is more of a store-bought carrot. It's already been trimmed down, just it's easier that way. So I just draw these very sharp little edges to kind of give it that leafy feel or somewhat like grass. And then I'm using my fine pen to pull those all together so that they look like individual little leaves instead of just one plop of grass. And then I'm going to go in with my fine, fine point pen and I'm just gonna take those little ridge lines that we made along the side and I'm going to pull them out, remembering to keep it slightly at a curve. And this just gives it that feeling of texture and not being a flat object. So you guys, that wraps up day 15 of our 30 days of doodles. If you're gonna share this, please do on Instagram and use the hashtag 30 days of doodles with TPP and tag me at the Petite Planner. I'd love to see what you're doing and I'll see you guys in the next video.